How committed are you to him? Why you ask? Because I think it's time for a merger of CBI and the same princess. I just don't see a place for Egan. So I think you need to make a decision. You really need a... What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, DC. And I'm here with the new theory video to Power Book 4 Force. And today, I'm about to talk about your boy, Diamond, and whether or not he's going to turn his back on Tommy. Because in episode 9, man, it really seemed like your boy Diamond was contemplating on turning his back against Tommy Egan. So I'm going to get my thoughts and my opinion about this and what I feel is going to happen in episode 10, which is a season 2 finale of Force. Now, if you're a huge fan of Power like me and you like the videos I upload and create, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And turn on your post bell notifications to get notified every time I upload a video. Also, leave your comments and theories down below in the comment box. Now, in today's video, I got to talk about your boy Diamond. Because in episode 9, man, it really seemed like Diamond was thinking about turning his back against Tommy Eager. From the meeting that he had with Miguel Garcia to the conversation that he had with Jannard, it seemed like they was planting seeds in his head for him to turn against Tommy Eager. Because in episode 9, Diamond and Miguel had a sit down with each other and Miguel was trying to do business with Diamond and form coalition between the insane princess and CBI, but he doesn't want Tommy in the picture. And the only reason why Miguel doesn't want Tommy in the picture is because Miguel wants to take Tommy out. And like I said in my episode 9 recap, it really seemed like your boy Diamond was really thinking about taking this deal with Miguel and starting this coalition with CBI and the insane princess. And man, I was looking, it's really seeming like Diamond is considering to turn his back against Tommy Egan. I don't think they just threw this in the storyline for no reason. I don't think they had Miguel and Denard tell Diamond that Tommy is no good. They need to take Tommy out of the equation. I feel like they is doing this for a reason. And I would not be surprised if we see Tommy and Diamond go at it with each other in season three. And the reason why I say that is because your boy Diamond wants to take out Leon's killer by the name of Mad Dog. We found out in episode 9 that Leon Killer is the nephew of King Kilo. We met King Kilo back in episode 5 when Tommy and Diamond formed this coalition with CBI and the rest of the gangs in Chicago. And Diamond wants to murder King Kilo's nephew Mad Dog for what he did to Leon. But it's not going to be that easy because if Diamond takes out Mad Dog, then this coalition that CBI has with King Kilo's crew is going to fall apart before it even starts. And I got a feeling that that coalition is going to fall apart before it starts because I just don't see this coalition moving forward with each other, especially with Diamond wanting to take out King Kilo's nephew Mad Dog for what he did to Leon. Yeah, I just got got that funny feeling that this coalition is not about to be able to work because i don't know if y'all seen the episode 10 clip that they released for us but diamond was basically telling Jannard that he want mad dog gone like he don't give a fuck about him being 16 or any of that shit he wants a mad dog out of here and it's not going to be that easy for diamond to take out mad dog and while i'm talking about king kilo expect your boy king kilo to be in episode 10 of force as well too because your boy chris lofton who plays Jannard posted some behind the scenes flicks of episode 10 and in this photo right here we see your boy Jannard and King Kilo posing up in the prison systems looking like they're having a conversation with each other so expect your boy King Kilo to be in this episode because we have not seen this scene yet and I'm pretty sure this scene is from episode 10 so expect to see your boy King Kilo in episode 10 and I have been reading a lot of theories online and a lot of people think that your boy Diamond might task DMAC to take out Mad Dog because Diamond and D-Mac will be having a conversation with each other in episode 10. And I'm pretty sure your boy Diamond is going to be pissed off at the fact that D-Mac is back in Chicago after Tommy told Diamond that he took care of the situation with D-Mac. Because Diamond told Tommy in episode 5 that if he don't take care of D-Mac, he going to handle it. But I don't think Diamond knows about Tommy sending D-Mac away to go to school in the middle of the country. And with D-Mac popping back up in Chicago... I'm pretty sure this is going to piss Diamond off and Diamond going to feel like he can't trust Tommy. I believe the moment D-Mac shows back up in Diamond's barbershop, which is going to happen in episode 10, he going to start side-eyeing Tommy. Because in episode 9, Jannard told Diamond that it seemed like Tommy is making a lot of solo moves without him. And it seems like he not communicating with Diamond at all about the moves that he's making. Which is false. Your boy Tommy has been communicating with Diamond about all the moves that he's been making this season. But with D-Mac popping back up in Chicago, I really feel like your boy Diamond is going to start second guessing whether or not if he should be working with Tommy Egan. Or if he wants to do this coalition with CBI and the rest of the crews in Chicago. Because not like that. But your boy Diamond could go start a coalition with the insane prisons at CBI. So he technically wouldn't need King Kilo crew, the SODs, the DSDs. Like Diamond wouldn't need to start the coalition with CBI and the rest of these crews. If you decide to go in business with your boy Miguel Garcia and start a coalition with CBI and the Insane Princess. And I would not be surprised if that does happen because your boy Diamond wants to take Mad Dog out. He wants to avenge Leon's death. 
And he's not about to sit back and let Mad Dog get away with killing Leon. It's not going to happen. And if this does happen, this is going to cause a whole lot of issues between Tommy and Diamond. And I really don't want to see Tommy and Diamond go back and forth with each other because I feel like Tommy and Diamond make a great team. They just got to get on the same page with each other. And it seemed like they was getting on the same page with each other after Diamond took out his parole officer in episode eight. But after this meeting that Diamond had with Miguel in episode 9, man, it's really seeming like your boy Diamond might be thinking about cutting ties with Tommy Egan and doing business with Miguel or just not fucking with Tommy at all. And I hope that doesn't happen because I really want to see Tommy continue to have a friendship with Diamond because like Joseph Sakura said in the Crew Has a Podcast a while back, Tommy Egan is running out of friends in Chicago. And for what it's looking like in episode 10, yeah. It's looking like everybody is about to be on Tommy Egan ass. From the exclusive clips and photos that I've seen online, man, it's seeming like motherfuckers is about to be on Tommy Egan neck in episode 10. But I'm pretty sure Tommy is going to figure out a way to maneuver through these situations that's coming at him. But I really don't want to see Tommy and Diamond going at it with each other. But how it's looking, it's looking like they might be going at it with each other in season 3. I hope Tommy and Diamond could get on the same page before the season is over with. But how it's looking, it's not looking too good. It's not looking good at all, and I just got that funny feeling that something bad is about to happen that's going to cause Tommy and Diamond to stop doing business with each other. And I cannot wait to see what happens next to this situation right here between Tommy and Diamond. But leave your thoughts and theories down below in the comment box. Y'all let me know. Y'all think Diamond is going to betray Tommy Egan and turn his back on him? I want to know y'all opinions about this because it's really seeming like your boy Diamond might turn his back on Tommy Egan and start doing business with other people. I hope not because I really want to see Diamond and Tommy have a business relationship with each other and continue to be cool with each other about how it's looking. It's looking like a lot of things is about to cause these two to stop doing business with each other, but we just going to have to wait to see how this situation plays out in episode 10. But leave your thoughts and theories down below in the comment box. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and turn on your post bell notifications to get notified every time i upload a video until then i'm out i'll see you guys next time and y'all be safe out here